everyone, Brendan here. In the first video I'm going to do uh, around technology, I wanted to talk about Apple's announcements last week, specifically uh, with the new cursor support that's coming to iOS 13.4. I know there's been a lot of coverage already around using um, the new upcoming Magic Keyboard that's going to be coming with the new iPad Pro, but I want to take a perspective of how how is it going to work with some existing mice or uh, devices that you might already have. So let's have a look at iOS 13.4 uh, using the original Apple uh, trackpad, the first generation one, um, and also a cheap uh, Bluetooth mouse that I just picked up at Walmart. Uh, so let's have a closer look. All right, so let's start with the Apple's uh, original first generation uh, trackpad. This came out quite a few years ago now. You can't even buy these anymore, I don't think. Um, but I just happen to have one around from my old Mac computer. So I thought I'd see how this works with the cursor support in iOS 13.4. I have the 13.4 Gold Master already installed on my iPad, uh, so let's have a look. So as you can see, the cursor appears. Um, I can go between icons pretty quickly. Uh, no way at all of going from one screen to the next. Um, doesn't matter if I use two, three, four fingers. None of that gesture control seems to be working. Um, no way with two, three, or four fingers of bringing up like the um, app center or mission control. Um, the only way to really um, get between different screens is actually to go down to the bottom here where you have your uh, dots showing how many screens you have and just literally just clicking on each one to go back and forth between them. Uh, but no real gesture support. The other thing I've noticed with the Magic Trackpad is, let's say I want to um, right click, doesn't work. If I do want to go back home, the only way I can go back home is to drag to the bottom and then drag a second time. That will get you back home. And, and in fact, the only way to really right click is to really just do a, oops, the only way to right click, sorry about that. The only way to right click is really to do a click and hold. So it's 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 really not that great of an experience. It it works if you have it, but it's it's you're also you're going to find it uh, really frustrating. Uh, another example: if I go into the news app right now, and my fist to load, there really is no way of scrolling down. I can't I can't go. To see what's down below the screen. The only way I can do that is to take my hands off the mouse, uh, which really defeats the purpose of that. So, in, if, since that doesn't work, let's have a look at how um, this cheap Bluetooth mouse uh, works. This I picked up at Walmart for about 30 bucks. Uh, it's a nice little mouse actually. Um, I, I really do like it, but there still seems to be some issues. The first one with this particular mouse I find um, you'll notice when I go and have it connected here, I actually this warning that using this mouse may affect Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, I've never seen that before when connecting any Bluetooth device to my computer. Um, but for the most part, it still seems to work. Clicking seems to be pretty fine. But again, the big problem I find is scrolling. This does have a touch scroll area. Um, but I find it only kind of works. So if I try to scroll up and down, back and forth, eventually it does attempt to do something. And then I can grab the scroll bar on the side if I'm quick enough and scroll around. Um, but eventually that will actually disappear. And you'll notice, again, I'm having tr difficulty scrolling. It's very choppy. I did connect this to a Windows laptop just to see if there's an issue with the mouse. And on my Windows computer, it works just fine. No issues with scrolling at all. So it's something with this mouse and iOS 13.4. IOS uh, it just doesn't seem to like the scrolling very well. Um, not sure if people have similar experiences with other mice or not. The other issue I've noticed with scrolling um, is you can't really go... Um, sideways. So as an example, let me just go into my photos. There are more, there's no way, I've, I've yet to come up with any way, I can scroll up and down, sort of, but I can't scroll sideways. So if I go here, there are more, there, there's a lot more stuff here. I just can't scroll sideways. So hopefully, um, Apple, without using an Apple uh, Magic Mouse with its uh, touch surface, I'll be able to scroll in all directions. 
Um, so we'll find out. But yeah, basically, third-party mice, if you can only scroll up and down, it's probably going to be an issue when using it with uh, the cursor support on iOS 14. So it's probably not going to be the ideal situation if you're still going to have to reach up and actually touch stuff on your screen. So the nice thing with this mouse is at least I have the ability to actually do a proper right click. So just to show you what I mean, if I go into files, I'll go into this folder here. And from here, if I want, I can actually right click on a file and I actually instantly get a full context menu. If you liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button to get more, so you'll know when more of our videos are coming. And in a future episode, I actually have the Apple Magic Mouse 2 on order. I'll be getting it in a few days. So we'll compare the Apple Magic Mouse with the shortcomings of these mice. And you'll see why you may actually be better to stick with an Apple Mouse if you want to get take full advantage of the new cursor support in iPad OS 13.4. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.